air. There are new concerns today about a virus now on the rise following the heroin epidemic. Health anchor Liz Bonus joins us now with why experts have a word of caution about some of the products being promoted to help treat it. Liz. Hey guys, good afternoon once again. Infection control specialists at St. Elizabeth Healthcare say a number of over-the-counter products and supplements are now being marketed to cure hepatitis C and they are not based on sound science. They say the virus can clear the body in some people on its own. But for others, the proper prescription targeted therapy is critical to long-term survival. It doesn't go one single day that I don't see a, really not the hepatitis C per se, but actually the complications of a drug user who is a hepatitis C infected patient. Dr. Dora Savini says contaminated needles in drug use often spread hepatitis C. It is a virus, she says, infection control specialists must treat or it can shut down the liver and lead to liver cancer. So you've mentioned that the treatment's now better than ever before and they work in a very short amount of time. The specific drug that you use, it depends what's called a genotype. And depending what genotype you have, we choose a medication. And those are called direct antiviral agents. Yeah, around four weeks after you have been on therapy, you can have an undetectable viral load. So is there any research now that shows a supplement over the counter, anything holistic, will cure hepatitis C? There is no data, none whatsoever, uh, that any specific diet helps with hepatitis C. Having said that, healthy foods for a healthy weight, reducing alcohol, not using marijuana, and quitting smoking are recommended for anyone diagnosed with hepatitis C. Obesity, marijuana, um, and smoking can lead to rapid progression of liver disease. Now, the important thing to note here, she says, is that your health care provider can measure this virus in the body and tell you if you need that targeted therapy. Insurance coverage for this medication is better than it was before, but you do usually need to meet certain criteria, and sometimes you need to find that out ahead of time. That was a huge obstacle initially. Yeah. As more drugs are developed and they're targeted and we have to measure, this could be really cost effective to treat this now and not need liver transplants later yeah. for people. So I think we're all starting to see the wisdom. People yeah. must be living better with this disease, though, because I hear less about it, I, and I know someone who has it lives a completely normal life. It, what happens is, as you said, it could clear, yeah. but you, now that it can be cured, and it used to be the treatment was made you really, really sick, this doesn't. So okay. people can okay. get rid of it, there's treatment, and literally you can't detect the virus, which means it's gone. There's a pretty high reinfection rate if you get back out on the streets and use drugs, so right. certainly education's needed. Yeah. yeah. As always, we invite your questions for providers at uh, St. Elizabeth Healthcare. You just click on Ask the Expert. And we're back at six with a new program for mom and baby. All right, Liz. Thanks, Thanks. guys. Excellent.